Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com. You know, I was listening to sports radio this morning, and I cannot believe the hoopla over an African-American basketball player using the N-word. You know what? Don't we always know, with regard to every word in the English language, that context matters? Right? Why is it with this word that suddenly context doesn't matter? Right? It's ridiculous. And so I can tell you, I was raised in a black neighborhood. I used the N-word all the time growing up. Didn't even think about it. It was a term of endearment. Right now, when I'm talking to good friends, um, you know, who I go way back with, I'll say things to them and they'll say things to me like, what was that N thinking? What's up with that N? Now, all I'm saying is this. I understand we all have different opinions about different words in the English language. And I understand there are many African-Americans out there, you know, Oprah, for example, who feels that any use of this word is forbidden, right? Should be censored. But again, context matters. You know, if I'm talking to a good friend and we're talking about some third person we know, and I say, what is that end thinking? You know what? I'm not expressing any kind of shame of being African American, <laughs> nor am I making some big cultural statement or something like that. Rather, I'm talking to a good friend. It's an in house conversation, right? And we're just using terms that we both understand. And when we call a friend the N-word, right, we're not saying that guy is racially inferior or superior. We're, we're not even really talking about race. We're just saying this guy we know from our social circles, right? And so now I'm hearing in a predominantly non-black mainstream media that Matt Barnes may have used the N-word because in high school he himself was a victim of racial discrimination. Give me a break. Right? Is there is there any city black community, and keep in mind I'm a product of one, where there aren't people using the N-word right now and talking about good friends and neighbors. You know, if I were Irish and I were to go into an Irish bar and I've been in Irish bars on St. Patrick's Day and I were throwing around, let's say, terms of endearment to other Irish people like me, would that mean that I'm slurring my heritage in any way, shape or form? You know, this video should be taken in context. Life should be taken in context. The context matters. I'll agree that when somebody else, Riley Cooper, uses the N-word in a pejorative context with negative connotations, that's one thing. But if I'm talking about a good friend with another good friend, and we laugh, and someone says, what's up with that N? Right? Um, I don't think any of us are making any statement other than just the statement that we're all in this together. We're from the same background. Might be the same neighborhood. Might be the recognition that even if we're from different parts of town, we share a lot of the same experience. The term is actually not a pejorative term, but a positive term, depending on the context. The great comedian Dick Gregory once wrote a book called 
N. I feel foolish here using the phrase N-word, right? But I understand the term is too risky for many. So context is everything. This Matt Barnes story shows just how ridiculous the public dialogue is on some things, right? Absolutely ridiculous. Am I supposed to believe that the only reason anyone at any time from a minority background would use that term is because they were victims of racial discrimination in high school? <laughs> Give me a break, right? This is PC gone way too far. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. I know this channel is really about discussing sports. Matt Barnes is a sports figure. Sometimes, of course, sports actually runs into society, right? Um, I understand that many old timers were victims of hearing that word pejoratively. But that's the context in which they heard the word, right? There are times when the word is not used pejoratively. The word is actually used complimentary, right? When I'm talking with a friend and we're both from Cambria Heights, Queens, New York City, and we use the word, we understand the context we're using the word in, right? Most times the subject matter doesn't involve anyone who isn't black, right? Most times the subject matter doesn't really involve race in the slightest, right? It's like calling you know, your neighbor, some term both of you understand, shows that you're from the same neighborhood, right? So I understand <laughs> there are people out there criticizing people in the hip hop community for using the word and stuff like that. Give me a break. Isn't this really about social censorship? Isn't this really about trying to control conversations? consensual conversations between two people having a private dialogue, right? And that private dialogue could be in the form of an artist performing a song to his or her audience, right? Isn't this really about some effort at social control? If the N-word is part of black history, and if members of black history feel that they own the word, and can pick the context in which it's used. Why is that offensive? Let me hear from you. Thanks for stopping by.